A store owner was tacking a nail in a sign above his store door, which read, Puppies for Sale. Signs like that have a way of attracting small children, and sure enough, a little boy appears at the store owner's sign. He says, how much are you going to sell the puppies for? The store owner assured the little boy that they were very, very good dogs and didn't expect to let any of them go for anything less than $35 to $50. To that, the little boy reaches in his pocket. He pulls out some change. He counts it for a minute. He looks up at the store owner. And he says, well, sir, uh, I have $2.37. Can I look at the little dogs? The store owner smiles. He says, sure, son, and he whistles. Out of the kennel comes Lady, the mama dog, running down the aisle of the store, followed by five little teeny balls of fur, one puppy lagging considerably behind the others. Immediately, the little boy singles out the lagging, limping puppy. He says, what's wrong with that little dog? The store says, oh, we took that dog to the veterinarian. The doctor examined it, discovered it didn't have a hip socket. It would always limp. It would always be slow. To that, the little guy gets excited. He says, that's the little puppy I want to buy. The says, nah. You don't want to buy that little dog. If you really want him, I'll just give him to you. Now the little guy gets ticked off. He gets right in the face of the store and he points his finger. He says, I don't want you to just give him to me. That little puppy right there is worth every bit as much as all the other little dogs, and I'll pay full price. In fact, I'll give you $2.37 now and 50 cents a month until I have him paid for. The store says, no, 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 you don't want to buy that little dog. He's never going to be able to run and jump and play with you like the other little puppies. In response to that, the little boy reaches down. He pulls up his pant leg to reveal a badly twisted left leg supported by a big steel splint going down each side of his leg. The little physically challenged kid looks up at the store owner and he says, Well, sir, I don't really run so well myself. And the little puppy will need someone who understands.